Well, good morning, everybody. Let's head back out to the garden. Actually, I filmed this uh, three weeks ago or so on a nice evening. As you can tell by the sun hitting <laughs> the trains in certain areas. Thought I'd go ahead and post it and get back to the end scale next weekend. We got the GP9 leaving the Hagen's yard. Gonna go switch Truett Lumber and Bartram Pulpwood. Heading through the uh, Shoulder Tunnel. This is all fictional. Hagen's, uh, Kentucky is a fictional town alongside the Big Sandy River in Eastern Kentucky. And the NRW comes out of Williamson, West Virginia and serves the uh, truncated branch line that used to run a lot farther to go to a, a big coal mine and now it's just a short stub left. So on my railroad, I usually run a few laps uh, before I start switching. So we've dropped the caboose back by the pond. And we're going to swap out a, pick up a uh, loaded car of chips and uh, bulkhead flat with some uh, cross ties. I mean, big timbers of some type. <laughs> you can see the sun hitting the lumber mill kind of low there. Some of my buildings are starting to show some wear because uh, they live outside year round some of the paint's starting to come off so I think next year when I retire it would be a good time to I can have more time to focus on rebuilding some of it as you can see by the uh, abandoned track there in the middle the yard around true it used to be a little bit bigger in my uh, fictional scheme it used to be a big uh, bandsaw mill and uh, it was they had their own logging railroad um, of course that was years ago so now they have a modern mill uh, the logs are a lot smaller and they're just served uh, you know, once or twice a week by the local. Of course, with the garden railroad, you're always battling sticks and leaves. <laughs> Uh, weeds coming up through the roadbed, things like that. In my case, uh, even though putting up the fence has helped to keep Ferdinand out a little bit, uh, I still have problems with finding occasional uh, cat droppings on the main line. Reattach the empty gondola, which is going to Bartram Pulpwood on the train. And then we're going to go back and get the caboose so we can uh, attach. 
attach it to the end of the train and head back the other way. I've talked about this before since most of my layout is on the curve. I uh, haven't found any reliable uncoupling <laughs> tools. So a lot of time with the G-scale stuff, I just pick it up and uncouple it. Pretty easy to just drop her back down on the track. Out on the roof of my Toyota Corolla. Oh, got a Norfolk Southern train coming. Southbound. Another project I might tackle when I retire is to actually build a real, an accurate version of an NW caboose. They did have a few versions of this caboose, what they called the Northeast caboose. I think they got them from the Pittsburgh and West Virginia. They had about six of them. Uh, this was an undecorated model that I found and uh, had the NW decals made. So you may have heard the train, Norfolk Southern train, falling for the Hamilton Street crossing, which is closed now, but a lot of engineers still blow for it. Or the DPU going by. You probably can't hear it over the sound of the <laughs> GP9. Alright, so theoretically, true lumber is the end of the branch. So now we're going to loop around a couple times and uh, switch parts from pulpwood on the way back and we actually have a northbound norfolk southern train coming it's double track to georgetown i picked a good time to narrate this So I attach the camera to the fence, I get a wide angle view. So the southbound train is gone. And you may hear the northbound train if he blows for the farm crossing here in a second. So I've disconnected from the train. 
We're going to back in and pull up the loaded car of pulpwood. It's a difficult spur to switch because it's uh, sort of an S-curve. I may, in a couple of years, keep uh, threatening to do this, <laughs> sell all my modern or relatively modern equipment and just go back to being a steam logging layout in the garden. Since I can run diesels inside on my end scale. Well, I sure love that GP9. <laughs> I don't know if I can part with it. So we have picked up the loaded car, heading out. And like I said, usually I will run a couple of laps around the layout before I head back to the yard, but I'm not gonna uh, show you all that. So you can see the uh, coal hoppers that we picked up earlier so in theory tonight a uh, local from Williamson will come to pick up the hoppers and the other cars and drop off empties so the local crews and the GP9 and caboose they stay here in the Hagen's yard and they can uh, go do their business again tomorrow so hope everybody enjoyed this and have a great weekend. And of course, as always, everybody stay safe.